The strategy that I chose to do research on was the self-regulatory strategy for children with learning disabilities, such as children who suffer from attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder. In order to implement one of these strategies, students of all grade levels need to take charge of their own learning by monitoring their behavior and progress and making adjustments along the way to get, an idea, get from idea to execution. What would be needed for this to occur is students would use a variety of strategies to help implement their ownership in order for them to monitor and pro progress through self-observation, self-assessment, self-recording, and self-determination of reinforcement and the self-administration of the reinforcement that is used. Such examples would be for self-observation, would be students would look at their behavior based on some given goal, self-assessment, if the behavior has occurred through some form of self-questioning activity. An example of self-recording would be after the assessment is complete, the decision is recorded on some type of private recording form. Self-determination of reinforcement would be that a goal is set with some type of reinforcement and self-administration of the reinforcement would be that it would be administered by a reinforcer to oneself. As far as prior knowledge needed by students, I did not feel that students needed to have any type of prior knowledge needed in order to implement these strategies. I felt that in order for these strategies to be implemented properly and correctly, the teacher should first model the behaviors and maybe do the I do, you do, we do technique and then that would allow for guided practice, which would then, as a progression, allow the students to perform these activities independently. The source that provided me with this type of information was found in our Special Education and Contemporary Society book.